You gotta be kidding me. There's no way. Welcome to the video, my friends. I hope you had a fantastic day. And I say that because it's nearly midnight here. This video is going to be about a rare penny that I found metal detecting recently, and something else on the end too that I also found, but not metal detecting. But first of all, I have to show you the clip of when I dug the penny, which was in yesterday's video if you watched it when I was detecting around the 1820s plantation. So if you didn't see that, watch the clip. If you did, skip about the next 20 seconds. Okay, I came back out in the lawn behind the house and I found this modern state quarter. Uh, just barely under the surface now and there's a lot of deep trash here and um, this is our best chance at an old coin if this one's not an old coin it's going to be a bad sign I've been scouting around the property for a good hour and a half now at least that long it's in the, rang up in the high 70s and I popped it and you can see the imprint there now it looks to be copper so it's not going to be a zinc penny um, but let's see if it's going to be old Yeah, that's a wheat scent, so ooh wee we finally got an old coin out of this place. Had to work for that one. Um, it doesn't look like one of the super old ones because the relief's high. It's probably going to be 1940s or 50s. At least I think so. Maybe it is older. No, I can't tell on there. I'll clean it up later, but I'm happy to pull that out. I'm going to work it slow. Now I know there's stuff down there. So this is the coin right here. It is a 1952 wheat cent minted in Philadelphia. Or is it? That is the question. Was it made in Philadelphia or was it made in Denver? I'm not actually sure. I'm going to show you under magnification and that's where this guy comes in. We're going to go in super close on this coin. When I was cleaning it up, I noticed something just looked a little bit off, but at first I just kind of wrote it off to a little bit of corrosion or something weird. Like stuff happens to coins under the ground, especially in mineralized soil. I didn't think anything of it, but when I started looking at it, I'm like, yes, there's definitely something going on with the date area of the coin. So here's what it is. On the five digit of the date, there is either a D mint mark stamped over the date or it is just a large splotch of extra cud on the coin which is basically just extra metal. I can't tell which. I'm leaning toward one now that I got to see it under magnification whereas I kind of flip flopped based on what I thought without magnification. I just don't want to say what I think it is to kind of bias you guys so you can form your own opinion. And at the end of the video, video, I'll tell you what I'm leaning toward. So that's the, the story behind this coin. It is at least, at the very least, an error coin. The question is what kind? So now we're going to get it under magnification and you tell me. So there you have it. You've now seen the evidence and you can comment below and tell me if you think it's just a big blob of extra metal or if it is indeed a D-mint mark. If it's just a blob of metal, it would only be worth about a few dollars. But if it is a D-mint mark stamped over the date there, we could be talking a significant sum of money. So anyhow, we're going to go into the next part of the video, which is a find I made in the reject tray of a coin counting machine at the grocery store. Here it is. All right, guys, so I am at the grocery store right now. I don't have my normal camera. Uh, I just made a good score. I never thought in a million years I'd find one of these, but I keep checking the coin star over and over again, and I got, oh wait, maybe I have this here. I do have it. I was here a couple days ago, or it might've been yesterday. I don't remember, my days are all blending together. And the coin star, there was one thing in it the other day. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see that, 
Um, it's just a car wash token. It looked like a big silver coin from a distance. And um, today, in the coin store, there were two modern pennies. <laughs> and wait for it. Here it is. A 1943 steel cent. You see the uh, weed ears on the back? It's in pretty good shape too, but a 1943 steel cent. Can't believe I just pulled that out of the coin star uh, reject tray. So uh, pretty good three pennies to find today. So uh, I'm going to take a picture of that later because this doesn't uh, show it real good. And I'll put it up on the video. Because I showed this in the beginning of the last clip, I decided to show it up close before I show the steel cent. That token I found was a smiling or smiling, excuse me, Billy's 24 hour car wash token. And it's the same on both sides. So let's get that out of the way because that's not what you want to see. This is the 1943 steel scent that I found in the reject tray of the Coinstar. In pretty good condition. Very clear date on it. Still got a bit of detail. Not too much corrosion. Uh, I haven't really looked at it too much up until now. You can see a lot of the weed ears there. This is going to be at least a coin in the very fine range. I'm not sure if it quite makes the extremely fine cut, but uh, somewhere around that range anyway, a high-end VF coin. It's very nice clear date on it. Just a very appealing coin. You always got to check them reject trays because it's coins like this that are uh, slightly different composition and they kick them out. So it basically sorts out the old coins for you, which is awesome. So unfortunately, this isn't the copper variety worth tens of thousands of dollars, but an awesome find to get out of circulation. So to end out this video, I'm going to roll out a clip that's from 2013, which seems like ages ago right now. But it is one of the rarest error coins, if not the rarest error coin, I have ever found metal detecting. And to this date, I have never seen anyone on YouTube or on the metal detecting forums post a find like this. So even though it doesn't have a high monetary value, it was very special to me. And I wanted to let the end of the video roll especially because it reminds me how far I've come on YouTube. And you will see why um, because of what I mentioned in the wrap up. And it just makes me thankful for every single subscriber I have. So thanks to all of you out there. Enjoy the end of the video. Yeah. Enjoy the end of the video, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. It's been another couple minutes. I'm just having a blast filming. I got an 1141 about five to six inches down, coming up 1441, so it sounded like a wheat penny. Got a coin ball. Hopefully it's a wheat and not an old memorial. See the darker soil here. Aha, uh -huh. oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, no wonder that was a bizarre signal. Wait. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way. I just dug an off-center copper penny. I've never heard of anything like this being dug before. See just the little front there and a little piece of the building on the back? And this is all on this side a blank planchet. No wonder it's elongated, that's why it gave the weird signal. This is an off-center copper penny. At least I believe so, I'll have to clean it up later. That is awesome, these are, it's not gonna have the date on it I don't think because it's that little piece. Unless it's the right spot here, which would make it worth more. That is amazing. Who on earth knows why somebody was running around with this? That is so cool. I sell these, so that's kind of why I knew what it was. Um, it's probably going to be from the 70s or the 80s. I will clean it up later. And the find of the day, an off-center copper penny, which I'm going to estimate is probably from the 70s or 80s. Is when you see a lot of these from, well, the 90s too, but this one looks a little bit older. Or, well, it's copper, so that would have been zinc, so um, this is copper, so this would have to be um, 1982 or 
earlier, so I'm going to guess it's, you know, 70s or early 80s. Um, it's very cool. You can see the piece of the building there where it was stamped off and it's mostly blank. And you can see the top of well, the front of Lincoln's face there. To give you guys an idea, I had some of these sitting around and close to mint condition. This is something like they would look like right about there. Um, I don't have any that have a date on them right now or at least that I can easily find. I, I had a few here that I uh, just brought out to show you guys to show you exactly what this is or what it would look like when it was new. And there's really nothing on the back of this when it was stamped so far off the side. But you can see the bottom of Lincoln there. So, uh, I mean, I, I've never seen any anyone ever dig one of these before, so I'm, I'm really excited, even though it's, you know, not worth a million bucks. It is an amazing find, and I, I, just, I just love it, you know. This made my day. Just never expected to find anything like that in the ground. Um, well, that's it for my hunt today. Um... Stay tuned uh, to my channel. I'm going to be doing some pretty cool stuff here pretty soon. And uh, starting to slowly cro uh, close in on 1,000 subscribers. I think I'm at like 8.30 or something like that now. So uh, I'll be doing a giveaway um, here pretty soon when I hit 1,000. And I'm going to be adding some other content to my channel You know, once I get around to it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Take care. I told you all at the end of the video I would give my opinion on the first penny I found. Before magnification, I did think that it was a misplaced mint mark, but after magnification, it kind of tweaked my mind into thinking that it's just an extra blob of metal. But that's just my opinion. That's not a fact. Goodbye.